All right, I've taken uh, the front off and I've uh, removed the meter. And uh, let's see, can I zoom in? Uh, I don't know if it really picks it up. But this this meter is this needle is bent, and there's a little bit of it's painted red, and there's a little bit of red flake there, right on the uh, right on the uh, meter face. There, I could just brush it away. So something came in contact with it, and uh, I'll have to bend that needle straight again. Looks like 1972. That's when the meter was built. That makes sense. Now, for the uh, adjustment, why I couldn't set the zero, um, this is the front of the meter, and there's this piece here that rotates, and there's a little tiny pin that sticks up, and that pin is the thing that adjusts the, uh, the meter zero. So this pin moves back and forth. Now, this piece here has some cutouts, so it can, it can rotate to, those, to these cutouts and then comes out. That's what this piece is here. Did that show on camera? Oh, it's probably off camera when I, when I did that. So yeah, it goes in here like this, and this little pin sticks out here, and it rotates back and forth, and there's the cutouts holes there. And then in this hole here is this little guy, and he has an eccentric pin on him too. And that pin rides in the pin of these guys. So it has to like slide over and then engages into that pin there. And then there would be a little slot over here that you could adjust it. There was like a post that stuck out that had the adjustment on it and that's been broken off. So there's no way, there's no way to adjust it. And that's probably because somebody tried to adjust this before and snapped it off in the process. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to put a new little post on that and get that going. All right, there's four screws, four little brass screws that hold the uh, hold the glass in the front. And I have been able to machine a little slot, <laughs> machine kind of hacked a little slot in the uh, in the little wheel there. And now I'm able to actually move it yeah, I'm actually able to move that zero. That looks great. So that all looks good now. Now this meter is held in to the front panel um, with some screws in the side. That didn't show me. Uh, that didn't show me taking that apart. So let's see here. Some of these screws. So here. side oh everything's in the way now let's see here lamp yeah why doesn't this why doesn't the screw engage do I have the right length screw I think I do hmm. let's see if I can put in the bottom screw Yeah, that one went in. And why isn't this one? Why isn't that one happy? I don't know why. Get some things out of the way here. Get myself in trouble if I don't clean as I go. And the top ones are just not, top ones are just not engaging. I don't know why are they, right, here's a long, oh, maybe that one's a little bit short. Yeah, this screw is just a little bit short. I need to pull him out. And this one's probably just 
a bit of go. Spill my screw, it's a bit too short. There. So now we have a a straight a straight uh, meter and a zeroed meter, and that should be better. All right, I got that figured out, and I got the little red particles in there out of the way, so that looks better too. All right. So, I don't think I showed you the bottom. I took the bottom panel off. And uh, there's a big rotary switch here with the ranges. So a lot of really nice high precision resistors here. 0.1%. These are all 0.1% resistors. Very nice. Oop, got some Dodge caps in the back there. These big uh, bumblebee type caps probably. Probably should take those out of there. All right. Hmm. All right. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, I don't feel like recapping this if I don't have to. Probably, probably needs it though, huh? Rift C board. Uh, I did find schematics, so uh, we can we can go through those. Um, and the manual's online, so we can do the uh, we can do the calibration. But so far, so good. Yeah, I'm a little curious about Q3, why it got replaced. Let's see if we can find uh, let's see if we can find Q3. Oh, there it is. So Q3 is right there. Um, and that has been replaced. And then D, oh, it's not even on there. Hmm. Q15 looks like he was replaced too. He has some rosin on him. Q15. Q15. Q15's way over here. That one looks like it got replaced too. Hmm. Although he's short lead but he's got rosin on him. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure which diode that is. Maybe this thing will help. Let's see here. Um, Q, D, D, D. Let's see here, Q, 15. Oh, it doesn't even show it. Wow, it's not even on the board. That's pretty strange. That's pretty strange. Why is that not drawn on the board? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's curious. Maybe that's at the factory. It looks, the solder joint looks like it's factory. And maybe they just want it up in the air to keep the thermals away from it. Wow, that's really interesting. Q15, he's near Q, Q16, Q15. <clears throat> so he's over here. There's three diodes here. Let's see here, 20, 21, and, and 19, 21, and 20. Yeah, so where are those? He, 19. Oh, maybe there's no D's at all drawn on the board. Let's see, we got the Q's and CR. What, CR22? Oh, they're called CR. They're not D's. They're CR's. Okay, so CR22, CR23. 22, 23. Oh, those are these down here. 
way down here to see our 2223s. Where are these guys? CR. Hmm. All right. Well, it's a mystery now. I don't know where any of those are. They're not marked on the board. Hmm. CR25? Is that, maybe that's it. CR25. No, that's that one. CR. Yeah, that one's not shown. No, it's not anywhere. We have to read about him. Very, very odd. All right. Well, I have to look at the data sheet or the uh, service manual. Yeah, it's this diode right here. I don't know if I can show that well in the circuit here. Let's see if I can use this. Um, you can see underneath these cotton swabs here, there's a diode and it's like a inch off the board. It's way up off the board. Now, uh, there's a diode right here and this diode right there, those are marked on the board and on the schematic. Um, there's diodes over here, those are marked, but this particular diode it's not marked. And like I said, he looks like he has factory solder on him. And he's way up in the air. So, uh, very curious about that guy. <laughs>